Hi everyone, I am Wilsonator and welcome back to Rust. That's right, we are back again in our tiny little baby base that we built last episode. Last time we uh, obviously just got ourselves started here. We've got a bunch of components. Uh, we've actually collected berries because we kind of want to do some of that berry tea shit this way. We want to do some of that kind of farming stuff. Uh, we also made an enemy uh, last time. We made this uh, this guy, Chef, killed me. He killed me dead, actually. Um, and I decided that, that I want to kill him. Uh, so that's another goal. If we can find him and kill him, that'd be sick. So one thing I noticed, actually, last episode, for some reason, my name tags were off. And that might be the reason why I couldn't see people with the binoculars. I was trying to, like, see the little dot above people's heads, and I couldn't. I was confused. But I think it might be because I had name tags off, because I think it counts as... Uh, a name tag when you see the little dot. So we killed a guy before just up this way by the water treatment plant. There is a base there. Horse outside. Also, it could be him because he stole my horse. I only want to see if I can see his... If I can see his dot above his head, we'll know if he's hostile or not. He's not. I've never seen... Wait. I mean, he's wearing a rad suit. Which is what Chef was wearing last time I saw him. He's jackhammering. Chainsaw. No, it's not Chef. He's probably going to respawn right there and try and kill me again. Yeah. I mean, it was a good attempt. Oh, he had a shotgun. Thank you. coming you know it'd be nice if i could see shit in this game damn it we lost a lot of stuff there i should have just ran away i don't even know why i tried to fight that guy fuck should we just try and go and do the monument okay i mean i i would say that i can't see anyone but quite honestly i have no idea because the sun is blinding me i thought i heard someone I'm not sure. There's a bag in there. I keep thinking I, I heard somebody. I did. Amazing. What an amazing playstyle. Well, we're out of cards. So that is off the table now. Uh, I don't know what I was meant to do there, man. I, th I, I thought I heard someone. I should have been more care careful. I didn't have a nail gun. If I had a nail gun, I probably could have killed him there because he fucked up at first. But I had nothing to compete with the nail gun, unfortunately. That guy, I'm pretty sure he was literally just camping there. Because there was another body right there. <laughs> Probably his first target. I really doubt there'll be anything here. I mean, it's boarded up. I have nothing to unboard it with. I mean, it might be unboarded on the other side, but... Aha! We're back in the game, boys. I might take this with me. And we'll continue down towards the satellite dishes. Try and get a fuse along the way. There's no point taking this back to base when we're going to come straight back out again with it, so. Oh. I missed. Fuck him. Someone's shooting me. I don't know where the fuck from. Some little baby boy in a bush somewhere with a compound bow. Once again. I'm looking, but I'm not seeing. He's there. I see him. All the way back there where the scientist was. Yeah, he's coming. Thank you. <laughs> he 
literally, he literally practically gave me that revolver. Like, why was he not shooting me with that? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I keep calling them babies. It's just, it feels like a very fitting term for people who just sit and hide like a little pussy. I mean, he was chasing me, to be fair. He didn't just sit and hide, but he's still a baby boy for using a compound bow. He was trying to get me with it from a distance, right? He tried it and he failed miserably. So we'll take this back to base. I guess we'll research it with the scrap that he was kind enough to donate. And then with these cards, we can actually go and try and do a monument. We'll try and do a blue card room just so we can get a bit of extra scrap. Maybe get a gun or two out of one of those uh, one of those places. So we've got pretty much everything here that we need. Uh, so we're going to go and try, try and hit up the satellite dish rather than the sewer branch. Sewer branch is pretty far away and it just seems like a bit of a nuisance getting there. If we can't get anything from the satellite dish, I want to check the harbor. I believe you can get a blue card from there, but I honestly don't know. I don't think I've ever actually done that for my blue card. I'm sure you probably can, though. I know there's green card doors there, at least. Why did I try with the... the, the fucking crossbow first? I, I... he was really bad. He didn't even have armor or anything. I could have killed that guy if I had just not panicked. I just didn't expect a guy with an MP5 to be there already, man. Oh my god. Guy there. Coming my way. Shooting at me. Go on, bear. Fuck him up. Go on, bear. I'm rooting for the bear. Go on, bear. Go on, bear. That was so good. I cannot believe how funny that was. The bear, the bear saved me. I mean, he was like, he was being friendly as well. That was, that was such a scumbag move. I would, I, if he was, if the bear hadn't been there, I would have been cool with him. But the bear just, I had to do it, man. I, I, I had to do it. <laughs> oh God, I love it. That was hilarious. That might be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in Rust. This guy still might be hanging around up here. I also kind of wish I wasn't wearing this helmet because I think it's just fucking firing off, you know, flame effects off my head. I'm going to hope that this guy... What the fuck was that? You see that? There was some gunfire coming from somewhere. I don't know where. Probably the MP5 guy. Um, no, I'm hoping that guy's not just camping there. I think that he realistically just found the MP5. I doubt he could have researched it this quickly. Uh, maybe taking it back home or some shit. But then where? Nah, he couldn't have. Why would he be up there? Honestly, I'm not sure. The only thing I, I can think of is that he lives there or that he lives somewhere else. I don't see any other bases really around this area, so. There is boxes up there. So it could be a shout. I'm going to just quickly try and grab this because I need the cloth. Oh no, this guy, he sees me. I see him. He's behind that little thing there. Okay, if that's the MP5 guy, we might be in trouble. Looks like a geared guy. I don't want to waste too many bullets here. I don't know if he has the MP5. Oh wow, he actually hit me. For quite a bit of damage too. I'm gonna run. Fuck, that did a lot of damage. I mean, I might need to put those blood effects back on because I'm not hearing sounds when I get hit by things. I don't have the fucking health, health stuff for this man. I got one med and no bandages. And this guy wants it. He wants it bad. No, it was to my hand. It took me down nearly half health. What? I have gloves on and everyone, what the fuck was he using? It's just a regular crossbow. Yeah, he's in there still. He's just running around in there like a crazy man. If I actually had stuff to heal up, I would come back and try and fight him, but I have nothing. Fuck, man. One fuse. How is it so hard to find one? Is that one? It dropped. Yes, got it. Uh, the other option is to just not do the keycard stuff at all and just farm the underwater labs. Uh, they actually did a little change to them this time around. They've made them uh, so there's less of them now. Like, I think there's only like, well, on this map, there's only, it looks like there's three. Whereas before, there was way more than that. 
um and they are usually bigger by default you don't get the small ones anymore so it could be that maybe that's the way to do things it's just a bit annoying because we don't live right next to the ocean oh there's a guy over there did he hear me so it doesn't look super geared I think he had a syringe. Got me dead. Yeah, he died. With a load of shit on him. Do you hear that sound he made when he died? He like... Now is the time for the game to not cuck me, whatever it does. So I really need to get home alive. Trying to avoid that helicopter as best I can. The door's open. Oh, fuck off. Are you kidding me? I, I don't want to fight him. I don't want to fight with all this stuff on me. I want to run. Now I'm the pussy, but rightfully so. Come on. There's a guy down there too. That guy doesn't look very geared though. It's always the thing with Rust, right? When you have a full inventory of good stuff, you always run into all of the fucking people everywhere. I'm literally just gonna run. If I get into a fight, I'm running into the outpost. Whew. Good shit, boys. Look at that. Nice, nice. Very good. Okay, so to be honest, I think we're gonna finish this episode here. We didn't quite get everything done that we wanted to. Uh, we wanted to like do some farming stuff, but we kind of got caught up with, uh, you know, trying to get our blue card and the troubles we had with that. Uh, we also didn't manage to hunt down Chef, but honestly, he's not my primary target anymore. If we can find him later, then great, but, uh, you know, we're, we've run into more people since then and, uh, he doesn't seem that important, let's be real. <laughs> uh, so yeah, pr pretty interesting stuff. We managed to get a revolver. We, um, got into a few fights here and there, managed to finally get our blue card. So what we'll do next time is we'll try and... Try and run to maybe the um, water treatment plant. Try and get a red. Um, and we could also we could do some of this other, other stuff again. And yeah, we'll maybe try and actually get some of that other stuff done too. Also, we have enough scrap now. So what we'll do probably right at the start of the next video, we'll pop down a level 2 workbench. So, Okay, so I'm just editing this video right now. And I wanted to just say to you guys, I am sorry that the videos are only around 13 minutes at the moment. The next two videos, I believe, should be longer because I did record for a lot longer for those two. Uh, but I'm kind of trying to figure out how long I need to record for to try and get to my target video length. Which, at the minute, I would like to make these videos between 15 to 20 minutes long, which I think is pretty good um so i will try and uh, make this a bit better going forward and yeah the next two videos i believe should be a bit longer than 13 minutes hopefully we'll see i haven't edited them yet so i, I don't know uh anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time